warrior, Baby Rosemarie, one of radio's youngest and hottest entertainers. stores can't find them you know Did you ever try to find one of their furs you can't find them you gotta win them on a game show and i found out that ever since i've been with hollywood squares which is now 13 years i found out that everything they give away on those shows you can't buy any place you gotta win them on a game show for instance have you ever had anybody come over to you and say i'd like you to come over to my house see my broil furniture <laughs> nobody's got broil furniture mary kay cosmetics even mary kay can't find them <laughs> Sarah Coventry jewelry, all those things. You can't buy them any place. You gotta win them on a game show. And then since I've been doing that show, I told you, 13 years, my whole life has changed. Everything, the way I talk, the way I live, my whole lifestyle, everything's changed. People come over to me, they ask me a question, I say, true or false? <laughs> and I hold my house for dinner, when they start to leave, I say, wait, I have parting gifts. <laughs> and they're over $400 today. <laughs> and my lady who comes to clean once a week, I give her multiple choice. <laughs> Bathroom, kitchen, or the floors. <laughs> My bedroom, I give her two week vacation in Hawaii. <laughs> and a <Yilakai. laughs> I think right now, right at this very moment while we're all here, there's gotta be at least seven million people at the Ilakai Hotel in Honolulu. <laughs> all game show winners. It's the game show Siberia, that's what they sent him. But I tell you, since I've been doing Hollywood Squares, I'm very proud of it. Really, I am. I kid about it, I tease about it, but it's been very, very good to me. It really has. In fact, I started with the show right from the very beginning. In fact, I made the first three pilots on that show. There was a guy from Western Airline. <laughs> I gotta tell you, ever since I've been doing that show, you know, 13 years ago, they used to tease me, looking for a guy, you know, can't get a husband, trying to get a date, you know. So, of course, all the questions used to pertain to that, like uh, what you should wear on a date, what you should say. Well, it's 13 years later, folks, and nothing's happened. So now I get questions on gorillas, varicose veins. Once in a while they throw in a hot flash question. <laughs> but now in the last batch of shows that we did, Peter asked me a question. He said, if you gave the man your number and the man calls, and he seems a little nervous and shy, what should you do? Well, the answer should have been, you don't make him shyer or nervouser. You help him out, at least you try. Or he's just going to say goodbye, which is exactly what they always say to me. Goodbye. When it comes to men, do I ever do what's right any year, any month, any morning, afternoon, or night? If there's a wrong way to say it, a wrong way to play it, nobody does it like me. If there's a wrong way to do it, a right way to screw it up, nobody does it like me. I got a big, long mouth, I'm always talking much too free. If you go for tact manners, better stay away from me. There's a wrong way to play it, a right way to be a player. Nobody does it like me. If there's a wrong bell, I ring it. A wrong note, I sing it. No 
Nobody does it like me. If there's a problem, I duck it. I don't solve it, I just muck it up. Nobody does it like me. And I don't know why. I really don't know why. Now, 13 years ago, it was very funny. Uh-huh. Can't get a guy. Ho, ho. Looking for a husband. Mm hmm 13 years later, folks, it ain't funny anymore. I mean, I'm dead serious. Every guy I go out with, a problem. I don't know why. I think I'm fairly attractive. Got a fairly nice figure. Get in there. Get in there. I tell you, folks, if there's anything in there, there better be a star in the East. You know, you try to go out with all different kinds of guys, you know, lawyers, you know, businessmen. Oh, I gotta tell you, another the doctor from Beverly Hills. Dr. Sam Peckerman. <laughs> the name alone should have told me something, right? <laughs> so when I try to be a lady, I'm no lady, I'm a broad. When I talk like I'm a lady, what I sound like is a broad. There's a wrong way to get a guy, a right way to lose a guy. Nobody does it like me. Nobody does it, no, nobody does it. Fidget. The government says we should all cut down. Okay, I'll take a midget. Nobody does it. Lie.